auto companies, they got a whole list of gimmicks. But free windows that cost a ton of money, those guys, they put the ick in gimmick. <laughs> well, you know us, we're right window. Pretty simple. We install quality Energy Star windows, back them with a lifetime warranty for the right price. It's a good deal. And compared to free windows, it's a lot more realistic. But we, we can't say that because there's an ick in realistic. So, hey, how about this? Replacing your windows? Call right... Sitting you last in relief in the pain. That's the secret behind regenerative therapy. That was special athletes have been relying on it for years. And it's Ladies available and to the public right now through QC Kinetics, the Welcome nation's the leader show. in natural biologics. This kid for a free is consultation, electric. call us first today at 617 915 2533. That's 617 915 2533. Imagine getting relief from your pain with no risky surgery, no drugs, and no downtime. Imagine a life where pain no longer gets in your way. It's not impossible. It's QC Kinetics. Take control of your pain today and join the growing crowd who's enjoying lasting relief from joint pain. For a free consultation, call QC Kinetics now. 617-915-2533. That's 617-915-2533. Our coverage of opening day is brought to you by Drake's Cakes and their delicious new Boston Cream Yodels. Drake's Boston Cream Yodels are available right now at your favorite retailer. And remember, life's better with a cake. Drake's Cakes. This is... And the Boston Red Sox are the world champions. Red Sox Baseball. And it is gone! And Boston strong! On the Shaws and Star Market, WEEI Red Sox Radio Network. For the first time, the Red Sox on WEEI are brought to you by Shaw's and Star Market, perfecting the art of fresh. Holy cow! 110 Grill, gluten-free dining done right. Sitco. When you start with Sitco, you're good to go. Pipelining. And that ball is gone into the front row of the monster seats. Herb Chambers. At Herb Chambers, we don't sell cars. We help people buy them. Morgan & Morgan. Injured? Hire Morgan & Morgan. America's largest injury law firm. Cars for kids. Old car giving you problems? Why not donate it? Call 1-877-CARS-4-KIDS today. Northern Bank. New England Ford. Ford Trucks. Official truck of the Boston Red Sox. Looking up. Grand Slam. Sponsored by Sherwin-Williams. The Sherwin-Williams Pro Plus program helps you manage and grow your paint business. Sponsored by Nissan. At Nissan, we make cars that thrill. Experience the thrill for yourself. Shop NissanUSA.com. Town Fair Tire. Nobody beats Town Fair Tire. Nobody. We're going to try it in the left field. There are a couple runs. Subaru of New England. Love spring in the all-wheel drive 2024 Subaru Forester. Verizon, the network Boston relies on. Long gone into the Monster Seeds. Now, with all the play-by-play -play action, here's Joe Castiglione and Will Fleming. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Fenway Park for the first game at Fenway Park of the 2024 season. The Red Sox entering with a record of 7-3, taking on the divisional champions from 2023. The Baltimore Orioles, who won 101 games last year. Red Sox coming off a great trip in which they went 7-3 on the West Coast. The Orioles, who've been in a hitting slump, have won five and lost four. They won the season series last year between these two clubs, 7-6. to six. We have a beautiful day for opening day here as they get ready to unfurl the American flag at left field and the pregame ceremonies will be underway very shortly. Temperature approaching 60 degrees. There is a cool ocean breeze, though, and uh, those fans in the sun uh, right now would be comfortable. Might get a little chilly in the shade before this one is over. And will the uh, Red Sox always are very good at the best in baseball or maybe in any sport of doing pregame ceremonies and they always have some surprises mixed in and so we're very 
anxious to see uh, what that uh, will bring here today as Tim Wakefield and his late wife Stacy will be honored and the 2004 Red Sox World Championship team that reversed the curse will be here and will be introduced on the field before the game. So we will have some ceremonies that we will bring your way here as we get set for baseball at Fenway Park in 2024. Indeed, and uh, they're talking about it right now, Joe. First of all, first things first, in the regular season for the first time in an official capacity, you're a Hall of Famer. So oh, congratulations on that. We're going to spend the year honoring you. And uh, today, though, is a day for Tim Wakefield and Larry Lucchino and the 2004 team, all of whom are here. There are little banners up underneath the light towers above the green monster, 49 on the left side and on the right side, LL. And we will carry a lot of those remembrances throughout this uh, pregame presentation today. You said it. I mean, the Red Sox quite literally roll out the red carpet better than any organization in baseball. And after an encouraging 7-3 and three West Coast road trip, they come back, they honor two cornerstone members of the franchise, and it uh, should be a very turbocharged emotional day. We'll have the flyover uh, around the National Anthem time. Military lined up. On the left field line, the Orioles now will be introduced individually. The training staff coming out first. They'll go over the lineups, and then, of course, the Red Sox. Uh, and we will await uh, what the Red Sox have in store for the special ceremonies honoring the Wakefields and Larry Lucchino, as well as the 2004 World Champs. Yeah, I think it's safe to bet that both of those will be very emotional. Just to get a couple of baseball sort of brass tacks things out of the way while the Orioles get introduced here at Fenway Park. You know, the Red Sox, Joe, came back off the West Coast, flying high, all the momentum in the world, even with the news of the Trevor Story injury, waiting for further testing yesterday in Boston. Well, there's bad news on that front. Story has a fracture in that shoulder, and he is not going to be a part of this season, which is just awful news for the Red Sox and especially for Trevor. He's going to be out at least six months. And Craig Bresley, you could just hear the tone in his voice. You know, the impact on the field that Trevor had defensively emerging as a, a real veteran leader on this team. So losing Trevor for the season was just uh, really kind of backbreaking news. And then literally like 90 minutes ago, we all got the word that Nick Pavetta, the Red Sox ostensible ace, their workhorse, the guy who's just been so good for the last three months or so on the mound. He's going on the aisle with a flexor strain. Now, the good news there is that Craig did say it's the MRI is clean. They think it's a mild strain and that he might not need much more time beyond the IL stint, but it does cast a little bit of a pall over what otherwise should be a very joyous day. It makes you wonder who's going to pitch tomorrow. Nothing's been announced yet because Pavetta was due to go, and he'd been so good in his first two starts. The Orioles' starting lineups are now being introduced on the field as they're in their gray uniforms with the orange and black caps. The Orioles committed five and four. They're one and two on the road after opening at home. And uh, they have their ace, Corbin Burns, going their new ace. He was acquired in a late trade just before spring training from the Milwaukee Brewers. And he's a true number one starter. He is. And I think, unfortunately, for the Red Sox world, it signals a new era in Baltimore. And that is a, a sort of a terrifying prospect because you know, in some ways, their owner, Peter Angelos, was just about the last thing holding these Orioles back. I mean, they are loaded with young talent. As we're now going to hear the introductions of the Boston Red Sox. We get the support staff, and then once they get into the rosters, we will bring that to you. But, uh, you know, Corbin Burns, they make the deal for him. They still, Joe, have the number one farm system in the sport, even with reigning rookie of the year in the American League and so many other great young players having made the move to Baltimore. They are loaded up. They uh, they figure to spend much more with the new owners, so this is a good fun test for the Red Sox. The Orioles, ironically enough, Joe, the last couple of years as the Sox have so struggled in the American League East, the Orioles have not been as big of a problem. 
Uh, it's really been kind of the Rays, the Yankees, and at times the Blue Jays that have hurt the Red Sox. But this is the team that most people picked to win the American League East, and now we'll start to bring in the coaching staff and the players for the 2024 Red Sox. Red Sox, third base coach, number 84, Kyle Hudson. Hudson moving from first base to third base Hitting this year. Number 62, Peter Betsy. Red Sox, since Pete arrived, have had top five offense in just about every coach, important category. Number 58, Luis Ortiz. Luis Ortiz began his career with Assistant the Red Sox coach, as a player. Number 85, Ben Rosenthal. Coach. And in the bullpen, pitching coach number 53, welcome back to Boston 2013 World Series champion, Andrew Bailey. Andrew Bailey did a great job at the Giants the last several bullpen years. Coach, number Logan 51, Webb, Rodon, Kevin Walker. In some ways, Andrew is the story of the early part and of the season. Now we'll see whether the aggressive coach, spin, the lack of fastballs, does Jason impact Veritek. injuries. It's Jason Veritek. Gives a nod to the fans. He'll be a part of the big ceremony today. He said something I loved yesterday, Joe. He said, I will take some time. As they introduced the players, beginning with Vaughn Grissom, he said, I will step back on opening day to remember the 04 team because for me it's like an old childhood friend. Hard to believe it was 20 years ago and there's Trevor Story being introduced. To He's got his arm in a sling. Infielder number 19, surgery on five. Pitcher number 22, Eric Lindbaugh. Infielder number 23, Romy Gonzalez. Just called up today. Not a bad way to make your Red Sox debut Pitcher on opening day at Fenway Park. Very versatile guy, can play the outfield in the infield, has some speed. Outfielder number 30, Rob Refsnyder. Refsnyder up the open toe. Picked it off the I.O. fairly soon. Liam Hendricks. Liam Hendricks hope to be ready in the second half. Pitcher number 37, John. Nick Pavetta. And as we said, going on the injured list today. Pitcher number 44, Isaiah Campbell. Who has been an absolute monster for the Red Sox. Pitcher number 48, Chase Anderson. Chase Anderson has two saves already, both of three in Pitcher the number 50, Cutter Crawford. Cutter will pitch game three of this series. Outfielder number 52, Wilier Abreu. Pitcher number 54, Lucas Giolito. Think about the injuries now to Pavetta, Story, and Giolito. Pitcher number 55, Chris Martin. Imagine the impact of that. And Chris Martin for the last two years has been Pitcher about the most 56, dominant reliever Joel in the whole sport. Rodriguez. Great that Brennan Bernardino Pitcher is back. Pitcher number 57, Greg Weiser. last year. You take Pavetta spot on the active roster. Weiser, Justin Pitcher Slayton. Pitcher number 63, Justin Slayton. Two guys that Craig Breslow brought over. Slayton in the Rule 5 deal. Pitcher, Weiser from the Yankees for Verdugo, Kenley, both who've been Jansen. awesome. And even though Kenley's velocity has been down to start the year, he's gotten the job Pitcher, done. Pitcher number 89, Tanner Hauk. Hauk has been awesome. Two starts. Almost unhittable. And now our manager, number 13, Alex Cora. A nice reception for AC. And his starting lineup. Leading off in left field, number 16, Jared Duran. I think we sometimes forget how impactful Duran can be. He has Batting been second dynamite. at third base, number 11, Rafael Devers. Happy all smiles today. Happy to be back at Fenway. Batting third in right field, number 17, welcome to Boston, Tyler O'Neill. Start. He's had leading the league at seven. Batting cleanup at first base, number 36, Tristan Casas. Batting fifth, the designated hitter, number seven, Masataka Yoshida. Batting sixth, in center, number 43, Sedan Rafaela. 
Order of a new eight-year contract. <laughs> Tender age of 23, the youngest on Betting the roster. Seven.